Welcome back to another video guys. Today, again, we're training early in the morning. I was just listening to some motivation, you know. Every day when I wake up in the morning, guys, I listen to like a lot of motivational stuff. Literally, the moment I open my eyes, I'm listening to motivational stuff. Right there, I was listening to like The Rock. He's one of my most, like I get inspired by him a lot because um, he was broke and one day he was broke. But now look at him, he's still building up, he's still successful. He's very like humbled, you know, and I look up to people like that. So yeah, I was just listening to one of his uh, speeches, you know, I always do that every single time I wake up in the morning because guys, recently I've been working so hard at my job too. I've been working like almost six days a week. Tomorrow is my off day actually from work. But yeah, I've been working like almost six days a week. Things are rolling. I'm also doing YouTube. My overall time has been decreased by a lot because I, I have some goals that I want to accomplish. So yeah, I've been working a lot, I've been doing a lot, you know, but I still wanted to vlog, I still wanted to make videos for you guys, I still wanted to make quality stuff for us all because we want to improve, you know, like today in the morning when I woke up, I was like, oh, I don't want to, I don't want to film, you know, I don't want to, I was just, that voice inside my head was telling me like, don't film today, film tomorrow, you know, but whenever something tells me not to do that, I do it. If that voice inside my head tells me not to do something, I do it. I, I give logic behind it and then I just do it, right? It's your it's your gut feeling telling you to kind of do it. Anyways, today we have chest day. I really don't know if I'm gonna go super heavy or not because I don't feel so well, but who knows? We're about to find out. Honestly, today I have an intensity day because last week, last session was a volume day. In case you guys don't know, I do push pull legs. So yeah, right now, mm, I'm just gonna finish off I'm just gonna move around, just get some blood flow in the body, and then we're gonna start off the workout. So let's keep it rolling, guys. Let's keep it rolling. This early morning training is not easy. Today guys, 145 on the way to dip. The I did uh, four sets of two reps. I was thinking of doing three sets of three, but I was not feeling it, you know? So anyways, four sets of two reps. After that, right now I'm doing the incline benching, keeping it super simple. There's one thing I noticed guys about this early morning workout, it's not easy, okay? And as I said in my previous video, you gotta do things that are hard. That's how you progress, that's how you actually get better just as a person you know and for me self-improvement is such a thing that i look into right now i'm growing a little older i'm getting matured i'm understanding more about life more about everything else in the end guys only you can make it happen no matter what even though you're working 50 60 hours a week at your job you have a lot of things to do if there's a passion or goal that you have on the side that you want to achieve put in work okay working out is I love working out, creating content, you guys already know. I love helping people, I love motivating you guys, you know? I'm just, um... <sighs> Anyways, 
I'm kind of raged out right now because every time I train in the morning, my neighbor, he like complains. He's like, oh, you, you, you're putting the volume too high. Like right now he like knocked on my garage door like freaking four or five times already. And he's telling me to put it down. He's going to work. Guys, I'm going to put my foot up his ass. Okay, I'm literally going to put my foot up his ass. He, I hit. In the morning, it's 6 a.m. It's cold as shit. I have less time on my hands to train because I gotta get ready, I gotta edit videos, I gotta go to work, and then I gotta come back and do more other work. And this motherfucker comes on my damn garage door and is knock knocking on my door and... Man, like right now I already told him, I said, Sir, if you have a problem, don't talk to me when I'm training. I literally told him that. I said, Sir, if you have a problem with that, I'm sorry, but don't talk to me when I'm training. I'm not in the right mood right now. And he's like, oh, you're gonna, you're gonna do something? And I'm like, I'm not gonna fight this guy. I, like, if I slap him, he will die, literally, because I know how strong I am. And guys, I'm not the type to fight someone. Even if you hit me, I'm not gonna try and fight you because I can't go down to your level. I have major anger issues, and that's why I always remain very calm, very positive. And I've, over the years, uh, as the years came by, I learned to overcome and learn more about myself and learn more about control. And I always want to be under control, you know? I don't want to lose control. Unless you do something really out of the way, that's when you're going to see the bad side of me. But anyways, I just wanted to say it out and get it out because it's so annoying, you know, when you're doing something and people keep disturbing you for no damn reason. Like, mind your own business. I'm not freaking, you know? If someone tries to give you some type of shit, Stay in control, you know, even if you rage out, try to stay in control. Like right now, even though I'm kind of raged out, I am still under control. And I want you guys to take away this lesson right here. No matter what happens, stay in under control. Okay, keep things under your control because you are the master of your own damn body. Anyways, right now, enough talking. My rest period is almost done. I got to hit the set real quick. All right, guys, so I'm going to get a copyright. <laughs> Just listening to some, you know, really calm music while I train. Anyways, guys, I did the incline benching today with 205 or 10 pounds. Three sets of three reps on the incline bench press. Something super simple as I also want to get stronger in the incline bench press. After that, guys, I lowered it down to one level and I did close grip pressing, uh, incline pressing. So that close grip really targets the triceps and I need to drive more volume on my triceps. Like right now, I'm focusing on try to maximize my volume little by little with the certain amount of weight loads that I'm gonna be working with because I need volume, I need to increase my muscle size in order to get stronger. Because I know I'm already kind of strong, but I can get stronger if I increase my volume, not just training singles and doubles. I need to be good in all rep ranges as I spoke about it in one of my videos where I talk about all rep ranges that you should train in. Super important, you know? Right now, guys, after doing the close grip inclines best bench press, uh, nothing heavy, I just did 185 pounds for three sets of um, seven to eight reps. Actually, I did eight reps on the first two sets. On the last set, I did seven reps. It was a little hard, but I went back in and I completed it. Guys, right now, I'm actually gonna do weighted dips. Uh, I'm going back to weighted dips, but right now, whatever weight load that I did in the beginning of my set, I did 145 pounds, 140 pounds, 145 pounds, I think. Uh, so yeah, right now I'm going back to weighted dips. Uh, whatever weight load or heavy doubles, singles, triples, whatever I'm doing in the beginning of my set, I cut that in half and I do volume towards the end of my chest intensity day. Intensity means I'm talking about the heavy shit. I'm gonna do three sets of, uh, my goal is to get three sets of 10. <laughs> my triceps are dying, but uh, we are gonna try. I will go at least 10 reps. I'm gonna give my best. If I fail, I fail, it's okay. What do I can get out of my tank? And yeah, I need to drive a lot of volume to my chest muscles, upper body muscles. Weighted dips is by far one of the best ways to pack on a lot of slabs of muscle in your upper body. I don't care what people are saying, what people are doing, you gotta do this, you know? Anyways guys, after this, I'm also gonna show you what I'm gonna be eating as a post-workout meal. And uh, stay tuned, the video is gonna be great. We're gonna learn a lot of stuff, we're gonna learn new things. Doesn't matter what we're doing in life, as long as we're trying to achieve more and trying to better ourselves little by little, adding up, you know, every single thing that we learn, we will eventually progress. Right now, let me talk less and get into this weight and let's destroy the sets and reps. <laughs>
All right, guys, training was done. I did four sets of failure. <coughs> Weighted leg raises, those 30 reps of dips was hard. It was extremely hard. I got a good pump on my chest. Um, right now, I'm actually gonna, you know, get ready. Obviously, I'll show you guys the meal. Today, I'm not gonna vlog the entire day because uh, I'm gonna be very late at work. And then when I come back, I have to still do some other stuff. Uh, nothing so interesting, but I still wanted to get the workout out of the way, obviously. Gotta do the hardest things in the beginning of the day. Gotta start the day with the hardest stuff. But uh, training was done, training was good. We did good, we did really good. This channel is growing, you guys are supporting me, which is great, thank you for that. Right now, I'm just gonna go home, take a shower, get ready. Overall, the workout today, out of a 10, I would give it a seven because I was expecting to do a three by three on the weighted dips. But um, just wasn't feeling it. But it's okay. At least I tried four two. It is still a progress, you know. Little by little, we are gonna make it. No matter what, we're not gonna give up. Right now, I'm sorry. I'm in a rush. But let's let's go take a shower and eat. All right, guys. So usually after I'm done working out in the mornings, I still do a little editing or some work for at least an hour, and then I come back in. Obviously, I drink a lot of water. You know, you gotta keep yourself hydrated. But guys. Mainly, in the mornings, I usually eat around, somewhere around like 10. I eat my first meal of the day, and you guys know I don't take any supplements or anything, right? So how am I getting all my proteins? You always see that I show you what I'm eating throughout the whole day. It's literally whole food based diets. I eat like brown rice, meat, super simple. Sometimes I eat, a, not sometimes, recently in the mornings, I started eating a lot of fruits. It could be anything. I think eating fruits is super important. You guys are obviously missing out if you're not eating enough fruits in your diet. But also guys, mainly what foods that I'm eating and the protein sources are like turkey, ground beef, something ground up, like ground beef, ground chicken breast, ground turkey. These are things that I usually eat in the morning because it's super easy to digest, especially when it's kind of a little fatty. It doesn't have to be super lean. If it's a little fatty, it's okay. For me, that's what, what worked, that's what's been working. This is how I kind of eat and put on more muscle and you know, add on my calories. Um, I really think you guys should always see all of my vlogs so that you know what I'm eating, how much I'm eating, and what foods I'm eating, what type of foods. I always show you with the foods that I'm eating because eating the right foods and enough of it plays a huge role. I'm not trying to promote and give you guys some garbage here that supplements is it when in reality supplements is not if you're eating enough you'll make it maybe you are going to be deficient in some some uh, vitamins and micronutrients that is when you can take supplements i'm not against supplements but just thinking that supplements is the gateway it's not it's not going to give you the body or the strength you need you have to put in work you have to learn to eat real whole foods right Anyways guys, I hope you guys all enjoyed today's video. I showed you how I trained. Early morning workouts are no joke. <sighs> yeah, early morning workouts guys are no joke. Like right now, it's literally, what time is it? It's like 9.21. Can you see it? Can you see it? Yeah. <laughs> it's like 9.21. I still have like around 30 more minutes left. I'm gonna do some little editing work. And then by around 10 or 10.15, I'm gonna eat my first meal. And I'm gonna get ready, go to work, come back. And I still have a lot of work of my own left to do. Um, I hope you guys found value into this video. Feel free to like, share, comment, and subscribe. We will never be able to blow up this channel alone, or I won't be able to. I need help from you all. So with that being said, stay tuned. There's more coming. And let me know in the comments down below what exactly you guys want to see so I can create more better content for us all. I will see you guys all in my next video. Stay tuned and be safe.